right, so here he is, one of the best featherweights in the world, fighting out of Spain, Ilya Topuria. It's amazing to have this type of wisdom and maturity and sophistication at 26 years of age. And that sophistication really bleeds into his fighting style. If you reference the Ryan Hall fight, that is as tricky a stylistic challenge as there is in the featherweight division. And he stayed measured the entire time before getting that knockout in round one. He has taken his game to that requisite next level ever since, making himself impossible to deny a world title fight. Well, you can argue this is the single hardest belt in the UFC to defend. The UFC's lightweight division has long been a murderer's row, and this champion's latest challenger looks like he could come through and upset the epithet. We were talking to him the other day, and I asked him about the fight. He goes, DC, nothing surprises me, because every time I go in there, I fight the toughest, scariest opponent. I understand my opponent's good, but I'm the champion for a reason, and I intend for it to stay that way. Seemed like he had a great training camp, a great weight cut, and even though there are definite stylistic challenges in front of him here tonight, told us on Thursday in the fighter meeting, skill for skill, I'm better than this, than this guy everywhere, and I'm going to prove it in a big way in front of this capacity crowd tonight. Charles Oliver, always ready to engage. We'll see how he handles this challenge tonight. Our tail of the tape now for this lightweight championship fight. Now for the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Elia El Matador And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Carlos go box Herbert Dean's in the building. Ready He's fight. the third man in the octagon ready. tonight. Good. All right, here he is, one of the best featherweights in the world, Ilya Topuria, ready to go for round one. He has been a methodical fighter every step of the way in the UFC. He talked to us about establishing his jab early, the opportunistic with my takedown attempts. He's going to have the upper hand in most skills against most featherweights in the division. So it's about fighting on instinct, being reactionary, and pursuing a finish to make sure that the promotion feels like he's the next guy in line to fight for the featherweight title. Nicely done as he lands a kick to the leg. Nice counter left hook. Oh, he jumped guillotine right away. Submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and the show in that defense. He flattens him out. This could be the beginning of the end. Oh, right into Mount. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment. Yep. Oliveira's back in full mount. Nice. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Oliveira. 
Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Great defense by the defensive fighter. Oliveira's in half goal. Under two minutes now to go in the opening round. Big ground and pound. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage. Also. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Oliveira. He's very accurate in the ground and pound, and it's showing because he's landing so consistently. Oliveira's looking to pass here, denied by the opponent. All right, so a grueling battle on the ground, and no surprise, the crowd pops in appreciation as the fighters work their way back to the This field. is an educated crowd, J.A. They appreciate high-level grappling, and that's exactly what they got in that exchange. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Under 20 seconds now to go. Gets to the single collar time. Big knee land. Uh, Round two next. Stop. All right, take the seat, bud. Relax, breathe. Slow it down. Slow the heart rate down. You with me? Okay, listen. All right, that's the end of the round as we show you some of the highlights over those five minutes. Really a clinic when it comes to the ground and pound. Yeah, man, this is what you're taught. When you're learning to become a ground and pound fighter, you want to do it exactly like he did. Gain posture, have height, control hands and wrists. Land strikes, don't throw too many. Throw just enough control. Throw again, control. He did it perfect. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. right hand gets through for Dubrox. You know, DC, you're usually pretty prophetic when it comes to these game plans and strategies. Are you surprised he hasn't even tried to take him down yet? Yes, it's very surprising to watch a guy that has this type of wrestling chops not trying to tip. connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So when you get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to finish him. All right, so not exactly the approach we thought we would see out of this BJJ player. His ground game, you can argue, as good as anyone's in this division. Yet he has an attempt to see. He's going to get team. All right, working for the submission now. Back and forth we go. Back and forth. These guys are fighting. Oh, looks like he's countering here with maybe a Von Flew. He's got the side mount. And now all of a sudden his opponent's in trouble. May want to bail on that guillotine sooner rather than later. Oliveira's attempting a triangle here. Let's see if he can finish the deal. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. Great submission defense on full display by the opponent. Working in half guard here, making these shots count. A way to stay aware and stay safe defensively. Getting the ball here. He's got to find a way back to his feet. Good work from the top here by Topuria. Oh, another strike lands from the top. Oh, tight submission attempt now with the Darce. That Darce choke is tight. Side control now. Oh, he puts his knee on belly. 45 seconds remain in the round. All right, well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Now maybe trying to get to a choke position here, DC. Oliveira's in half guard now. Change of the position. In the 
the books. Olha, senta aí. Olha, você quase nocauteou ele essa vez, tá? Ele não quer mais lutar. Ele não quer mais estar nessa luta. He doesn't want to be in this fight anymore, okay? Who's got it? All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. You ready to fight? You ready? Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Oh, I think he's still compromised. We'll see if he can recover here. He's in a world of trouble. taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Oh, switch kick. Very good, very good. All right, talk to me, champ. He's got great submission skills, good offensive wrestling. He hasn't so much as even shot for a takedown. Team. There it is again. Look at that. Oh, he is stunned. Drunk driving out there. We'll see if he can recover. We have crossed the midpoint of this fight. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those... Guillotine jump! Oh, he's out! All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You gotta be careful. <laughs> Oliveira's in half court. Look at him, he's setting up the choke now. Look at that, he's setting it up. Now he's in trouble. That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Really good job to land these strikes from top position. Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yep. Another ground and pound strike lands. Now inside the close, go going for an arm bar now. What a tight arm bar. Submission defense is able to take his arm out and stay safe. On well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Tokuri. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship rounds. All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. Start mixing up your attacks. All right, there's the end of the round, so it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All 
right, so here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. We'll see who has the upper hand. You feel it inside of the arena. The fighters feel it inside of the octagon. It's palpable. The energy is crazy because you understand that in the next 10 minutes, someone's going to get a belt strap. Huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and get the fight. Topuria's elbow attempt here, that one blocked by the defense. Good job, that's it. Keep that face, oh, he doesn't like it. Lands a jab. Circling to his right. That'll do it! Holy smokes! What an absolutely crazy knockout here, and that's gonna be a hard knockout from which to recover for his opponent. But the celebration is on one of the biggest wins in his UFC career. Massive win for this young fighter. He got the knockout victory. What a performance. All right, here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at one minute, 30 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and new UFC lightweight champion of the world, Ilya Elmanador. What a moment there it is for the new UFC lightweight champion. I'm not crying. That, you're crying? You're crying? <laughs> I mean, almost. A, it's hard not to feel emotional when you watch someone accomplish something.